Thank you to my Patreon patrons and YouTube members. Your support keeps the lights on. If you want to access extra perks like early video access, special emotes and badges, a lounge area in the Discord server, or the ability to choose the next project setting, check the links in the description below. Now, let's get on with the video. What's going on, my kids? It's your favorite Great Tail Fox Fox. I come back at you with a brand new episode of City Skyline Sarah Carry on Atoll. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building up some of the first services and some of the first small homes in this community, which yeah, they're actually going to look pretty nice. I promise you right now. Obviously, we're going to be starting off with some apartments near the truck stop that we built in the previous episode. And of course, since I'm still missing several things right now to actually build everything that I want, we're going to be using a bunch of parking lots. Now, obviously, I do plan on fixing this before going to bed tonight because, um, well, I'm recording this at night. Yeah, I'm actually recording this the night before I'm supposed to upload it to, um, I think it's Patreon and YouTube members access out here. So I'm kind of recording this before I'm supposed to do that. And that's because of a um, thing that's kind of like planned for Tuesday and... I don't feel like having my plans completely rained on out here. I've already had two streams burned down this week to the ground and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that has pretty much happened. And obviously it's activated like a lot of fear right now. There's a few other things going on right now. And some of them are actually pretty good news. Obviously there is still a lot of work that needs to be done in the departments that I'm currently thinking of, but yeah, you can probably see why I'm kind of like jumping ahead on all this. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into actually what I am building right now. So basically what I'm building is a little bit of a parking lot out here. I'm basically building a little bit of a parking lot. Nothing too serious, nothing too special behind the apartments. Obviously, we're going to give the um, apartment people, you know, places to park. And this is kind of Florida. We can't really build things like underground parking garages and whatnot. And I'll tell you what right now, it actually did take a lot of work to actually build a lot of this out. I'm actually still pretty proud of how it turned out. Obviously, I've still yet to turn on Prop Anarchy, unfortunately, which kind of does suck because I really wish I did have it. It is a very useful tool, but I digress out here. We're currently adding in some of the um, parking pieces like signs. Obviously, we gotta have signs for handicapped parking because that has gotta be like something we gotta do. It's actually something that I've considered mandatory ever since like, you know, I started actually building stuff out here because, you know, I'm from a country where we actually really, well, actually, I can't really say we really care about the disabled. I actually was learning about how the Americans with Disabilities of 19, or Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 passed and my freaking god i'll tell you what right now that is some bull crap that that had to be done on capitol hill that is some bull crap but anyways not the point right about now we're, we're, the point is our little town that we're building out here so i'm definitely going to be putting my main focus into that but anyways you guys can actually see me adding in some new streets and we're actually going to be using a lot of suburban streets in these smaller towns not really a lot in the way i want to say of um larger streets are really going to be used in these smaller towns. I mean, that's pretty much my idea right about now. A bunch of smaller towns surrounding a much bigger city. And obviously, I've yet to kind of like decide the name for that much bigger city, but more likely than not, I'm going to go with something along, something referencing the, um, persona that I'm naming this after out here. Now, obviously, this is a unique persona, unique enough to where I'm 99% sure it will not get killed by Nintendo on contact. But, yeah, I kind of figured I would kind of like, you know, Name it for a friend's fursona out here. A very close friend of mine, obviously. So, definitely something I did want to do. And something I kind of promised him, if I recall correctly, I would do for a hot minute, too. So, definitely going to finish that up, obviously. But, yeah, I'm kind of thinking of picking a portion of that to work with. But, I, if I went through with this plan, I wouldn't be able to post the name or anything like that of the city in the, in the titles and the thumbnails or the descriptions, which are all three, like, you know, all three places where I kind of do have to do that. Because, again, the big end could come in with their ninjas and just be like, yep, um, we're just going to kill you for that. Uh, okay, maybe that's a bit of a joke. But, yeah, I don't feel like dealing with the DMCA thing, obviously, but... Anyways, right now we got the um, Starla Elementary School. Obviously, a lot of these smaller towns are going to have elementary schools, but more likely than not, you're going to be busing students in for high school. And actually, that kind of does remind me, from Starla onwards, it might not be a very bad idea to create highway off-ramps. That might not be the worst idea in the world, actually. I might want, or not highway off-ramps, um, a frontage road near the highway. That's kind of what I'm thinking of right now. But that's kind of my thought process at the moment, you know? kind of stuff like that. I think it actually will turn out pretty nicely, obviously, so pretty excited for that. But anyways, right now we're currently adding in these little um, grass roads. 
they're or not grass roads. Um, they're basically ploppable grass. It's basically my way of getting around the fact I don't have grass networks installed, which is excruciatingly, excruciatingly annoying. Can I not talk today, by the way? But yeah, it's kind of my way of getting around that. And honestly, these actually work just fine. You know what? I'm actually kind of willing to work with them. Although I'd much prefer my grass networks because those actually those actually kind of look a lot nicer. One thing I definitely need to do is turn on prop and tree anarchy right now because I am getting tired of placing these trees this way. Hopefully I can have that fixed in time for the next episode, but I'm not really sure right now. And of course, since it's Florida, we gotta have the palm trees. In fact, actually, this atoll is supposed to be like, what, right off the coast of Miami? And I've yet to do a lot of the control city signage, but that's kind of what I want to sign I-995 West for. And yes, that actually is I-995. It's probably the only number in the, um, in the odd digits range for Florida like extensions or not extensions auxiliary highways of interstate 95 that actually isn't taken i'm pretty sure 595 is taken 195 395 and 795 but it's not like we could bring 995 back to i-95 itself which pretty much eliminates 2 4 6 and 895 under the rules and yes i follow the freaking auxiliary highway rules okay and plus i-995 kind of completes the set because in maryland I think they've got 195, 295, 395, 495, 595, 695, 795, 895. Oh, wait, 995 is actually missing. Baltimore, I guess, never really got around to that. Come on, man, you could have repurposed I-97 as I-995, especially when you consider that I-97 is, is, is in one state, which isn't too bad on its own. I mean, I-4 and I-2 are both in one U.S. state. Along with I-30, I believe. Is it 30? I can't remember for the life of me. I do know 30 is a fairly minor highway for an interstate major. But I-97 is also 17 miles long. Without exaggeration. Yeah, definitely not the best here. But anyways, we're currently running over time for recording this. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my sign-offs. As usual, if you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day or night, no matter where in the world you